Welcome to Fouts Boxing Theory, and here we go into a little video of is Janibek any good? Okay, there he is probing with a little jab there, then getting off the line on the line. Boom, boom, boom. Gives him a little jab here. Boom. Faints, pulls, counter, counter. He's got some sick moves, right? Some of the stuff that he does is pretty good. He's pretty fast. He can be pretty flashy. Um, and he's definitely good at that little move of pulling off the line. So this is the root of all his moves, right? This is his jab. He gets on the line. I want to point out a couple of things real quick. Number one, kind of weird thing. He steps on the guy's foot here, right? He's holding down the guy's foot, controlling him as he steps with the jab. It's really interesting because when he looks to score, he's going to go around the guard. But stepping jab, maybe it stops the guy from being able to follow him back as well. <clears throat> um, but he likes to initiate a lot of his offense off of the jab. Okay, we're going to watch a few examples of that. Boom, and he's going to get off the line here. And now he's going to get on the line. Boom, he gets into this position. You're comfortable with it, throwing another jab. Okay, very, very simple, very, very basic, but pretty effective. Not really telegraphing, right? Gets on the line here, gives the guy a little bit of a feint. He's going to go boom. The guy's going to look to follow him back and try to counter. He's jumping off the line. When he lands, he's controlling with the left and then controlling with the left again so he can get back into position to start following him back. And this is the kind of early stages of one of those those other moves that he does. Again, stepping on his foot, uh, but he tightens that sequence up and makes it much, much, much smaller. But again, jumping on the guy's foot here, uh, don't letting him, not letting him chase him back. And now jumping here, controlling space, and he got in that position with his jab and following through with a right hand instead of just a jab, right? So he's going to jump on the line, see what you do, and then jump on the line and then hit you um, or make an uh, adjustment according to what you do, right? Sometimes you're going to follow him back <clears throat> and he's going to counter that. Jumping on the line, going to the body. You know, a lot of, you know, very, very basic but pretty high level because he's so fast and athletic um, uh, kind of moves, right? Very, very basic, one, one, two. One, 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 two, one, two to the body, um, but off the back of a very quick jab. Now, another thing that he likes to do, throwing this jab out here, and his opponent is trying to circle uh, towards us, toward the camera, towards our left, his right, and he's trying to circle that way, and Janibek is going to control him with the jab here, and then he's going to control him with the jab here, and that guy, that gets the other opponent to start parrying, but also stops him from wanting to cross that way. Now, as he starts to go this way, as soon as he finds himself in a position where where he's going to cross Janibek's line. Janibek's line is like right here. He's going to, he's about to cross it. Janibek sees where he's going and he's trying to time his weight to meet him there around the guard with the hook. Okay. Very, very, very Mayweather esque, right? He would get on the line with a jab, get on the line with a jab and then get along on the line with the stepping hook uh, in a very, very similar pattern. So another one of those little moves that he does, it's pretty kind of cool, you know, now as he gets better at pulling and allowing you to follow him back off of the jab. Here he is doing that very similar motion, but he did not have to jab first. The punch comes from him, um, from his opponent here, and he's kind of pulling, getting his head just off the line, just enough to follow him back, so he's still in range. Uh, very, very sneaky, down, and he brings his weight down, and he's going to be driving up from both feet. Again, uh, check out the Faust Boxing Combat System if you guys want to learn how all of the ways of punching power work so that you can uh, learn how to throw your hardest punch, learn how to throw your fastest punch, and improve it, okay? Um, all the greats do it like this. They just didn't know it, all right? Now, again, very, very clever with this ability to just pull his weight faint here. He gets his opponent to react. His opponent is coming, chasing him back, controlling him here. And again, very, very quick with these kinds of shots, getting back on the line. Um, and it is pretty interesting, right, because he can pull. Right, And he can get off the line and then come back with the left hand, or he can pull with the hook here and throw that shot. Okay, So kind of cool being able to control him, get him uh, to react there in that little position. Now another game that he likes to play, jab, pull, and then jab again. Um, I personally like that a little better than the wide kind of hook, um, and I would like to see him play that game a little bit more often. Um Another thing that Janibek has that's really, really good is he's really fast, okay? This one, too, and he slips it through the guard on the guy's face. He's super quick. Really, really, really quick fighter. Um, really, really, you know, strong, physically capable. Um, and again, the only problem that Janibek actually has is that all of his attacks kind of come from the the right arm, 
right? He's going to be controlling and getting on the line with the right arm. He doesn't have a lot of left-handed attacks, okay? So what does that mean? Well, it means that sometimes, okay, we're going to be taking a look at this clip here. He's going to be jabbing, okay? He's going to be jabbing at this fellow. <clears throat> and then he's going to be using that same trick. Again, he's been, it's the third round now, right? We can see it's the third round. He's using the same trick. Okay, I'm using my right arm, using my right arm, jab, jab, okay. Great, great, great. Everything's all good. Going to get on the line with a little hook here. Very suspicious. He throws it to the shoulder. Okay. Not sure exactly uh, what that's about. Um, but uh, tosses that shot to the shoulder. Okay. And now he's going to start chasing him. Okay. And as the guy chases him, Janabek, he ch starts chasing Janabek. Janabek can't control. He doesn't want to control with his jab again. The guy's setting up to counter it. Maybe this, maybe that. But if he only has that to, to control space with, he's going to allow the guy to kind of control space, kind of walk him down, right? Putting a lot of pressure on him for no reason, getting really close, okay? This is a really interesting idea because the fact that he doesn't really use his left hand to control the line, he doesn't use it to throw punches, he just – he uses it to attack the line after he's controlled and he's jumped on the line or he's countering. But he doesn't use it to kind of go first. He won't start it off with the block there. He always tries to use his right shoulder. Okay, And he finds himself kind of in a pinch here when his opponent goes on to this side and attacks him. And then also finds him on this side as a result. Okay, Forcing him to start his interaction on the line with his left hand. right, Making him block that shot. And again, this is one of the worst things about uh, the fact that, that um, Janabek doesn't really use his rear hand. Okay, Now... This would also be a little bit mitigated if he did stuff with his right hand, like blocking punches, okay? He doesn't really block either. Now, I want to say it's a godsend that he will use the pull counter as much as he does because a lot of fighters, they just don't want to do it. Um, so he's doing pull counters. That's why he's having so much success. Um, his ability to get off the line and then back onto the line. But we can see when not, when not using that actual strategy, his actual defense is pretty poor. When he's not pulling and moving off of the line, he's just expecting to be able to interact with them correctly, um, but he's not using his hands here. In this case, he's not giving himself the best chance to interact with that punch. Okay. Now, um, I did a full fight film study on this fight on Patreon if you guys want to check it out. Uh, it's Felt's Boxing. Uh, we're going to take a look. Let's keep going a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Moving forward. And again, no rear hand control. Right, so the guy just keeps to jump on his line, and then again we're gonna get to see him go all Jana back on him. Right, the idea that he's gonna allow this guy to get so close to his line when he can do something so athletic, he can chain his punches together so well, boom boom. It just shows kind of how limited he is that he needs his opponent to be so overextended so consistently to be able to just let his hands go, right. Very likely, again, because he can't open up sequences with his rear hand, he has to always open up with the lead hand. Okay, um, Part of this is also going to be due to his like footwork, his positioning of his feet. He probably doesn't know where his feet are supposed to go. Again, check out the Fast Boxing Combat System. Um, but um, on Patreon.com slash uh, you can check out the Full Fight Film Study for this fight for free. So go ahead and check it out. Um, I just posted it. Um, and then if you want to check out any other fight film studies, I teach boxing and I teach, you know, uh, I use this to teach boxing and, uh, and, you know, entertain myself <laughs> anyway, um, check out Patreon. Um, I break down all the fights, all the fights that I'm kind of interested in and passionate about, um, as much as I have time, um, and all my pre-fight film studies for all the, all the fights and all the stuff where I gather all my data and I get super high and I watch film and discuss with myself and yeah, it's fun. It's interesting. Um, and check it out. This one's on Patreon for free.